Alright, one last update before I tear this th thing down for paint. Uh, I got this rack made. It's, uh, it's not the strongest thing ever, but it'll be good for what it's for. Uh, I just, this little spring is, uh, hinges spring loaded, so it kind of keeps itself down. And I just made some little pins here to key it to the bike so it doesn't shuck around. So it's strong enough for what it is. And I made the exhaust. This is welded on steel pipe here and then I got a piece of aluminum here that I'll clamp on with this seat post clamp. Up here. And that'll sneak out right under there. Like that. Um, the battery box, I got that all done. Uh, I'm just going to clamp the batteries in like this and solder the wires on the end there. And I'll screw it in there like that. And I got the little switch here. So, that'll work okay. And... I got the, I redid these stainless trim parts, welded them on from the back side there, so they'll shine up okay. Um, and this side I got the choke thing done, it'll bolt on to here with onto the shroud here just to make it easier to get to the choke and uh, this holes this hole here is where the throttle cable will go like that I welded on a little extension there. Let me get the light. So you're welded on this little extension. So I'll be able to hook the throttle to something. And then I'll run the cable through that hole and put a cable stop on the back. So it'll go like that. And this set, <coughs> the side cover here, I got these finished, got the hinges here made. This piece of steel runs all around there. And goes like that, and this slides into a piece there. And I made this little latch. So that just hooks on there, on the lip. Uh, I still got to make a little emblem. And I think I showed you the kickstand already. And I think that's about it. It's pretty much ready for tear down and paint. Alright, stay tuned for the final installment. 
See you later, guys.